Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, and I am back from my vacation. So, yeah, I had to take a little vacation, but I am back once again. We're gonna get to these videos like always, but who cares about that bullshit? Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about side chaining because a lot of you guys ask me, how do you side chain? How do I do my side chaining? And, you know, why do I side chain to begin with? Well, side chaining basically is when you are sending a signal to activate something. So, basically, you are taking a signal signal like a kick drum and you're telling something like a compressor eq or whatever any type of plugin that has side chaining and you're telling it to react to that signal that you chosen so if you have a compressor on something every time a kick or snare or whatever hits it will tell the compressor to activate on the other channel that's basically what side chaining is and i'm gonna show you guys how i side chain in fl studio and also I'll make a video on uh ableton as well so don't worry about that all right so this is a little beat out this is just a little beat I'm working on for um my other YouTube channel, my gaming channel. Um, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But anyway, but here it is. It's just not mixed, not master, not nothing done. Just here it is. Yep, another corny ass beat from Mr. Different himself, like always, because I don't give a fuck. I can't make beats. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, uh, so I'm just going to pay attention to the 808 and the kick drum. So I'm going to solo both of them so you can hear them together. You know, as you can see, the kick drum and 808 are not really playing nice together. So we're going to side chain them to make them play nice and well together. So as we can see, here's my kick drum, my 808 channel. So first, I'm going to go to my kick channel and I'm going to go right here. Going to right click on this little triangle and go to side chain to this track. That way it links them up. You can do it in FL Studio 11, 10, 9, fucking 1. If I have to get fucking no. But yeah, you want to do that. And that way you can send the signal to this. So basically, you're sending the kick signal to the 808. Now we're going to go to the 808 channel. We're going to add in a side chain plug-in whatever you may have i mean there's a bunch of them out there but we're gonna use fl studio compressor or f fruity compressor or limiter whatever the fuck it's called fruity limiter because it's the easiest way i know and it's the way i always do it and i don't care that's why i like it gonna turn that bitch to compressor mode and we go to the side chain gonna right click and then hit kick if you don't have a option right here then you did it wrong you probably either sent the, the 808 to the kick but y'all want to click on the first whatever it is you want to side chain to and you want to you know right click down there so if you don't have that option, then you did it wrong. You need to start over. So just give me a heads up. So once you do that, now the pretty much this compressor is going to react to the kick drum. As we play it, you'll see it start compressing to the kick drum signal. So you see it is reacting to the kick drum, and that's what you want. So now... What I like to do all the time, because I like to do like hard style of like, I like to do that EDM style of side chaining. That's just my sound. I do that. I know a lot of people are like, you mean you side chaining too hard? I don't give a fuck what y'all think of how I side chain too hard. It's how I side chain. It's my sound. That's what I'm going to do for my beats. You do your beats your way. I do my beats my way. Deal with it. So, anyway. I like to turn my compressor, the threshold all the way, pretty much not all the way down, but pretty far to get like a good signal, the side chain. I like to turn my knee all the way to the right because that's just to give it a hard knee. You know, a softer knee means it does gentle compression. A hard knee means it does very aggressive compression. And that's just the way I like it. And I turn my ratio all the way up to about, you know, limiting. When you turn the ratio to 20 to 1 or infinity or whatever, that's pretty much limiting it. So basically, every time that kick drum hits, it's going to yank down the signal of my 808. And as we see... You can hear it right there. So next is the fun part. I like to play around with the release. Now, the release is really going to judge on, you know, the sound you get. If you have a little bit of release, it's going to be like really snappy but can distort. If you have too much release, it's going to like come back up really slow and sound like lazy or delayed. And I'll give you an example of both. So first, we'll get like a, a super slow release. So you don't have time to come back up. And if it's too fast, you get distortion. So you have to find that right blend before it's just right. So I like the. To... 
And then I like to play with the threshold so it's not side chaining too hard. And then you just go through and tweak it until it, it sounds good to you. And once it sounds good to you, guess what? You have your side chain. And if you play with the beat, now you can see the 808 will punch through the kick drum. The, eight, the kick drum will punch through the 808. And it will just, you know, it have like a, it basically sounds like the kick drum and 808 are now one sound. That's why I like doing it. So. And let me just. Let me solo both of these so you can hear with outside chaining with side chaining. It just makes them play nice with each other just a little bit better than before. And that's all it is. Like I said, it's nothing spectacular, nothing amazing. It's not going to make your beat sound amazing, but it will help kind of your kick drum and 808 kind of blend together just a little bit better than they already was in that sense. And that's how I do it. Like I said, there's other ways to do it. This is the way I do it. This is the way I like it. I know you can do it with a – you can also do it with an EQ and stuff like that and all other kind of crap, but I don't care. This is how I do it. So, yeah, there it is. How to side chain your sounds, like you guys been asking for. I know I didn't make an updated video in a while. This is a more recent, more current video where I go a little more in detail for it, so whatever. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy it. Like always, y'all know who it is. It is your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different. I have some more videos coming out soon, and I'm going to start doing the feedback on Sundays, so I will be, be tuned in for that shit. I'll put a video up for that, you know, whatever. But anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Like always, yeah. I don't know what to say. I guess I'll just catch you guys later. Y'all know what? Have a good one.